Hi, welcome to my video, uh, first of the new year. If you hear jingling, it's my dogs running around, acting like fools. Hi, and welcome to 2024. We're all here. Um, hopefully we are. Um, here's the outfit of the day. New shirt from REI. Shoes. Working from home outfit, even though I wore this outfit yesterday also. Um, okay, since it's like still technically like a national holiday, I'm gonna do a little bit of work today. A little bit, but um, not much because nobody's really gonna respond anyway. Definitely working on comics today. I'm about, hey! Sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm about 25 to 30 pages away from finishing inks and I think I can knock those out super quick. Um, like half of the panels are already drawn so I just have to go in and fill in like one or two panels. And I started messing around with colors even though the inks are not approved yet. But just to kind of take a little reset on just focusing on inks and like start moving other parts of my brain, getting that ready. Um, anyway, so in this vlog I'm going to be kind of talking about uh, stuff I got for Christmas, um, New Year kind of goals. I don't really believe in resolutions. I feel like goals are... Ow, I just pulled a... Not out of my hair. Okay, sorry. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Um, yeah, so I've made one of those little bingo cards that are popular on like Pinterest and like White Mom Pinterest where you go in and fill in all the goals you would like to uh, get over the year. Because I feel like resolutions, a lot of people start them in January and they don't continue into February. So I don't call them resolutions, I call them goals. Because goals in my brain feels more like I can get that done. Um, it, feels, it feels bigger and it feels monumentous and it feels like, um, I don't know, resolution feels like solving a problem. And I don't want to admit there's a problem, but I'd rather feel like there's a goal instead of something I have to solve. Um, lost my train of thought. So I'm gonna be talking about that kind of stuff a little bit while I work and um, yeah. So my friends and I do this like little friends miss gathering and here's some watercolor paper, nice cotton paper. Um, my friend Micah had me as Secret Santa and this goes around to hold the little sketchbook together, but they made me this little sketchbook. Isn't that incredible? And it has this same nice watercolor paper in it. It's so cute. I love this blue and I love the little bead on it. Incredible, amazing. And I cannot wait to use this. I have not committed time to doing it yet, but now that's the new year and I'm gonna be going out a lot more, um, this thing is gonna get filled up pretty quick. Also, this is like, this is my, in my house, this ceiling, I cannot reach it. It's like 15 feet high or something like that. I have to have like a crazy ladder to reach that. And I'm like on my landing right now. And so this little chicken, I, don't, I mean, let me zoom in, is like a little slingshot. And I got it in my stocking stuffer. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm congested. Um, my partner's nephew and niece, we were running around the house shooting these at each other and shooting them onto the ceiling and they were sticking. They kind of are like those little um, sticky little hands that you get in like the quarter machines. Um, and that one has been there for nearly a week, which is very impressive. I hope he never comes down. Or if he does come down, I hope it hits somebody right in the head. Perfect timing. So for the new year, I did buy myself a new Field Notes planner, which is what I've been using before and a new um, Field Notes Steno book, which is also what I normally use. I just got paper everywhere. And they always come with this cute little calendar to put in your like smaller Field Notes. Um, I love this thing. That's what I'm filling in right now. They are the best. Last me all year long. Um, and these I usually use for like taking notes during meetings. Spent an hour responding to everybody on my list and making sure they know that I'm stoked to go into the new year working with them and that I will not be working today and sending stuff in the next few days. Um, I think I should give that to myself. Um, so I'm probably gonna go work out 
Maybe go for a walk or a bike ride or something. Maybe I'll go outside and paint today. I absolutely have to do comics today, but it's only like, what time is it? 11, I have all day. So I think I should give myself the day to like reset, which would be great. Um, but I will show you my little bingo card. Cool, so um, I have this hanging on my wall. Um, here's my bingo card, obviously the free space. This one is to apply for grants and art residencies, which I have been starting to do, but I wanna do that more. Um, my 30th B-Day trip, we're going on a bike tour, and then a bike tour 100 miles total. So hopefully I get to that for my 30th trip. Um, finished, finished at least 10 big paintings. Uh, you know, I have one on the way working on it right now, so I would like to do about 10 others. Big just means much bigger than like my sketchbook size. Um, revamp our home's landscaping and grass. Um, my grass is basically dead. I would like to replace it with nicer grass that I like or that like, um, that like purple sage stuff or whatever. I can't, oh, creeping time. Um, taking cooking class, I've never done it, so I do want to do at least one. Get much stronger, gonna work out today, already on the way there. Make a lot of art outside, which I've already started the habit of doing, so I might even go do it today, so that's our, great. Um, do a 10K, um, I've done plenty of 5Ks, but I would like to do a 10K in one day. Uh, walking or jogging, doesn't matter. Be more financially smart and have a plan. My partner and I have started to do this, so we're already going into that, doing well. Um, read 100 books, I did that last year. I did all yellow covers, so this year I just wanna do 100 books that I enjoy. Um, finished my quilt, I will show you guys that another time when I start working on it, but I did start it this last year and it just needs a border, but it's a uh, checker border, so it's gonna take a while, but I do wanna finish it. Um, get monetized on YouTube, that one's pretty self-explanatory. Join an arts club slash group. There is a urban sketching group that is local that I would like to go to. Um, walk 30 miles in the year, that is tracked. Obviously I'm gonna walk 30 miles, but I would like to attract 30 miles. Bike 200 miles, track that as well. Uh, creative Google map of places to plein air paint. Um, I've been walking, I mean, right, like, if I go on a road, I'm like, oh, that would be a cool thing to paint. I want to drop a pin in like my Google map and go back to that later. Um, do more free and cheap dates, self-explanatory. Do more at home without screen time. Um, I tend to watch a lot of TV in the uh, evenings. I would like more nights where I don't do that. Um, go to three new places, probably just like new cities, new, um, new big places, maybe like a new restaurant that I wanted to try or something, or like a new little tiny town nearby or whatever. Um, paint my house more, pay off my smallest debts, which I have already, already done. In December, I paid off one of my credit cards, which is nice and like half of another one, so I'm on my way to doing this one pretty easily. Um, decorate for each holiday, I've started to prep that. Um, I have a box for like summer and Easter and Valentine's and I would like to commit to doing this more. It's just so like I shift things around in my house and I dust things more. <laughs> I'm really bad about dusting. Um, and start to thrift gifts for Christmas all year long. Um, my sister and my mom are so good about thrifting gifts. Um, so I'd like to do that. I'd like to just like in case, like when I see something that I'm like, oh, this would be a good gift for this person. Like when I'm at the thrift store or like a vintage shop or like antique store, whatever. I want to just get it. And then it's less money I'm spending on myself, less crap I'm putting in my own house. And it'll be something for somebody else. So those are my big goals for the year. Um, I definitely, definitely wanted to focus on art this year. Um, whoa, sorry. Um, focus on making a lot of art this year. Um, I turned 30 in April. And um, I realized over the last like eight years of doing freelance stuff that I've been making a lot of art for other people. And it's time to start making art for myself, um, which I know I do, but probably not as much as I would like to. Um, so no screen nights will absolutely give me more time in my studio to work on paintings so I can 
finish the 10 paintings goal and then do more outdoor studies so that I can also finish the 10 paintings goal. So I feel like a lot of those goals are like intertwined, which will help me feel more successful by the end of the year because um, if one goal plays into another goal and into another goal, then by the time I finish one goal, I'm already like halfway through another one. So I think, I think that's pretty smart to do it. Like I'll actually um, get to where I want to. Um, so yeah, definitely want to apply for more grants and stuff. More, just do more of like a studio practice. Like that's, that's what I went to college for. So I would like to do practice studio art more rather than just graphic design and illustration and ed editorial stuff. Um, but comics will definitely be a main, mainstay. Um, I love doing comics. I, every time a comic project comes along, I, I usually take it unless it's something just totally bonkers, not my style, not what I want to do. Um, but yeah, so, uh, hopefully we'll make lots of art this year. I'm very stoked. This is a lot of talking in this video, but like, I don't know, it's New Year, you're thinking about things you gotta do, you wanna do, whatever you didn't do. Um, but I just wanna say, Linda, if you're watching, thank you for your email. Um, I got a very lovely email from somebody who was watching my videos, and she bought three of those little mini brushes that, I don't have it on hand, but three of those little mini brushes that I got from St. Louis Art Supply, and she was like, Shelby, you're costing me a lot of money, but you know, get on that uh, affiliate link for St. Louis Art Supply. So uh, St. Louis Art Supply, send me that affiliate link, man. I'll, I'll make you money. <laughs> I'll, I'll shop <laughs> my own affiliate link to make myself money, <laughs> um, which I have done with the Dick Blake thing, which is kind of nice because I get like a certain percentage that I get to write off my taxes for like art supplies, but then also I get money back from the affiliate link. Pretty nice. Um, <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I got this lovely email from Linda saying how much she liked my channel and um, was excited for my adventures of making art and she wants to, you know, continue to do that in her own own sort of way, different from mine, but I, I you know, helped inspire her, which is great. And hopefully other people have felt inspired. Um, I've been getting a lot of very kind comments recently, especially from the sketchbook tour video. That one has like a lot more views than I expected it to get. And, you know, I've had maybe two really nasty comments, um, but thankfully people have come and saved the day and put them in their place. Um, one, one was a comment about my septum piercing, but like, you know, get over it. <laughs> I'm, this is my face, dude. You, it's not yours. <laughs> um, yeah, so thanks. Just want to say thanks for being here. Um, thanks for enjoying the channel. I'm glad you guys do. Um, these... Honestly, not that much work to do, but they all, they do take time out of my day and it's been nice to see the fruits of my labor. And so hopefully in the new year that we can get monetized, we can get memberships. Um, I can start doing more things for you guys, maybe like some live streams or, um, I don't know if we get, if we get memberships, what do you guys want to see? Like more like behind the scenes, like work in progress stuff. Maybe like sketches that I don't share anywhere else or like tips and tricks kind of things. I don't know. Um, let me know what you guys want to see as far as that kind of stuff goes. Um, but I do have plans for the new year for this channel. Uh, I have a whole list of things I would like to try to do. Um, okay. I'll shut up now. Let me show you that painting that I've been working on. I realize that maybe, maybe that'll keep you interested. Uh, okay, so this is on just like, here, let me pull out one of these. It's like this like MDF board that I got in, I think like an Ikea package. Um, it was helping keep some of the furniture from sliding around in the box. I don't really know, but I figured they shouldn't go to waste. So, uh, God, excuse me. <laughs> uh, here is the full thing. My Here's my hand for scale. Uh, I'm really liking how this is coming out. I just took some images I saw on Pinterest and kind of formulated them together. Like this truck was separate from all of this. And then I just added the mountains in the background. Um, I don't like how, hello, how the sun got covered up. So I think I'm gonna have 
still leave it there, but put the white on top of this blue so it looks like it's just shining so bright that you can still see it through the wire. Um, but yeah, really love the textures I'm getting right now. Love the color palette. I'm so sorry my dog is scratching himself. Um, really, really like how the grass in this section came out with like this green layered on top of this yellow. Um, yeah, so I've been going in with paint marker and ink to help pull some things out. It's far from done, but really stoked on how this is uh, coming out. Also, my aunt got me this for Christmas. The this little carabiner thing is super nice. I know I could use it for camping, but I kind of want to add it to one of my like travel art kits because the thing that like takes up the most room is my water jar, which I like because I can seal it and then toss the water elsewhere, but it is so big. I do have one of those little, find it. Um, let's go through my drawers. Also, I bought this, I'm just showing you the guys things now. Um, I bought this, it's called a nurse's clipboard for plein air painting. I've played around with it a little bit, but I haven't actually taken it out to make art yet. But I think this is gonna be fun. I saw uh, someone on YouTube use one of these and I was like, ooh, interesting. So I bought one to try it out. Um, it'll be really nice for like really small sketchbooks like this. Um, and then maybe like with this little magnetic thing I have. Um, so I do have this, but I don't always love clamping it onto my sketchbook and then getting it all messy. This is much better for when I'm using the post shade box because it can clamp, 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 <laughs> clamp onto the side. And if it gets messy, it just gets on the box instead of the paper. So um, I might start bringing this so I can have more access to more water. Um, I can put numerous brushes in it and they can sit in there for a minute if I need to. Um, and then this can just clip onto the outside of a bag rather than um, taking up space on the inside. So I'm gonna play around with that. Speaking of Dick Blick, I know I just was talking about water, water cups, but this one I think is gonna be nice for um, like my uh, fanny pack to condense a lot flatter. And it has a lid, which is super cool. I have one of these that I use for camping for like my coffee in the morning and it, it is awesome, but I don't have a lid for mine. So it'd be great to have a lid. Um, and I, these are just kids color pencils, but I liked how small they were. I think these are gonna be great for in my fanny pack as well, just because they won't take up that much space. I know they're just like cheap crappy ones, but like, I don't, I'm not, I don't care. I use cheap supplies all the time. I can make anything work. Um, and then I also bought these watercolors because they are on sale right now. They're normally 52. I got them for 40, 41. And then if you shop my affiliate link, obviously you get I get money back off of your purchase. Um, no, it doesn't cost any extra to you if you want to shop that. But um, I did get this uh, set of 24 Nihai, Nihi, Niji. I'm not sure how you say it, but love these colors. It's a little bigger than what I have now, but I'll have more colors to work with. And these have pretty good reviews online. So yeah, stoked for those. And then also, speaking of St. Louis Art Supply, hit me with that link, guys, come on. Um, I bought one of these little twist erasers. I got the green one, and it comes in a pack of two, I believe. And you kind of like twist the bottom of them for it to come out. I have something similar to this, but it's it's like the size of a pencil. I'm so sorry for my dogs. I don't normally have their collars on. Um, it's, no, it's the size of a pencil, but it just takes up a little bit too much space. So I feel like something smaller like this will be super nice and a pack of two so I can have one in a separate um, art kit than the other. Um, and then I bought another one of these brushes. I have this one uh, in my usual kit, but I bought, let me see if I can remember. I think it's one of these more squared ones because I really like blocking in stuff with watercolor. Um, so, Hopefully that will be nice. They are also on sale right now, which is great. And then I bought this pencil kit to hold some stuff in my kit so, keep, so I can keep them separate from like the painting stuff. And it's Mitsubishi, which is pretty nice. 
They always have really cool stuff on this website. And like, come on, three bucks for that? That's, that's a steal. about a 5k like three miles ish um, I went to a primitive trail in um, I think it's it technically Cibolo Texas um, what are you doing what are you doing um, yeah I walked about three miles and I drew this car that's shoved into the side of a dirt hill um, Sorry, there's so much jingling in this video. <laughs> uh, and every time I go on this trail, I see that car and I think, man, I want to draw that. And I've gotten plenty of pictures of it, but I really wanted to like do it today. So I did it. And because it's on that slope, my little stool that I brought with me is kind of hard to like maneuver. It was, it was quite hard to figure out a spot for me to sit and still look at it. But I think I got a, a good drawing. Um, and then I walked a bunch of the trails around there. It was nice. Took my time. And then I went to this little historical site. It was like a, a um, old house called something Harrison House in Selma, Texas. And I walked a little nature trail there. And yeah, drew the house. And I really wanted to draw the windmill. So I drew the windmill. And I got a sketch for that too, um, which I'll show you guys in a second. But let me show you the little stool that I bring um, and stuff like this. So, it's called a GCI Outdoor. It's like a backpacking, um, stool. It's pretty lightweight. Um, it, it does take up quite a, a lot of space if it is for backpacking, but very worth it. Um, it has a carabiner, has this to hold it in, and then it has this to make it tight. Let me set it up and I'll show you guys the thing. These bottom poles, um, collapse um, out and then you can to put it together you put them into the top part and then I guess you could put something there I don't know but there's the stool my feet for reference pretty sweet for like if you need a little quick seat and you don't feel like bringing one of those big fancy pull out fold out camping chairs or whatever um, but yeah this fits like in a backpack pretty easily. And then, like I said, these just sort of pop out, see the string, and then condenses like that, and then goes back into the bag. Easy, easy. I think I got this at REI. I do not remember how much it was. Um, if they still have it, I will put a link in the description. Tie that, and put this back on. <clears throat> And bam, done. Okay, I really need to eat something. So I'm gonna show you guys the sketches that I did if I get to them today. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna paint. So, and then after that, it's like three o'clock. So after I paint for like maybe two hours, so like around five, 5.30, I will quit and work on comics the rest of the night. Probably just like sit in front of the TV, watch a show or something, not sure, but uh, yeah, let me show you these sketches. Okay, it's a little hard to see because of the blue, but um, you can see the car that's like stuck into the side of the hill, and I loved how all the trees were, so I really wanted to capture those trees, and I really wanted to make it look like a, a hill for sure, so you can see all the, where the sky will be. And because it kind of just looked like I was looking at a hill and there was nothing behind it. Like it was the end of the world, the edge of the world kind of thing. But I'm excited to incorporate these uh, quilting patterns and then and do all these shadows. I haven't decided if I'm going to do this in watercolor or gouache or what, but there's that one. And then second sketch, again, I did it in blue. 
here's that like historic house. Um, there's a windmill. Sorry, the keeps not focusing. Uh, the windmill, and then the little water tank, and then the side of the house, and then some clouds, and a little path. Super nice. like a base layer every time I'm in this like sort of process like when I get to this point I'm like yeah this looks like crap and I want to restart but like I only drew this sketch once so there's no way for me to restart and I don't feel like drawing it again um the colors in real life look a little different like there's some neons here that are kind of hard to pick up on the camera but um trust the process or whatever I guess Okay, I'm going in with some Prismacolors, color pencils, and I'm starting to like it. Okay, I had to come to my bedroom so you could see it in the light because I'm losing daylight here, but I think we're cooking with oil now. I uh, outlined everything with the color pencil. I like how it came out. Very fun. Nice. All right, well. First painting of the year done. Um, first painting outside adventure of the day, of the year done. Um, I guess I already checked off the go new places, um, three new places uh, thing on my list, on my uh, year goal. So maybe I should do, amp up that number to be like 15 or something, I guess. It's not that hard for me to go to new places. Um, <laughs> Cause I went to that historic site for the first time. I've never been there. Driven by, driven by it a million times, just never went. Um, so, I'm gonna take a picture of this, pop it on my Instagram. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you have a list going for things you want to get done this year. And if you do have some art ones, share with me. Or if we have similar ones, let me know. Um, yeah, thanks for being here. And Thanks for watching. Hopefully you stick around in the new year. Like and subscribe or whatever. Bye.